what your shoes say about you, how to dress like a skater, four looks and tricks tested, three non hype beast school outfits, spring 2018. We have a fashion crisis, people. It's all fun and games online, but in real life, people clutch their kids when they see you. Fact is, no one knows how to act because they look at the internet and they think it's real life. An extension of that is that TOS exists and it makes people think it's gonna stop me from bullying them on a site that pulls records in teenage self-termination. A highly regarded strategy to the likes of shift PvP, fashion is a hidden weapon. Society is ruled by hidden competition and unspoken rules where failure is not an option. And as a master of disguise, it's important to hide your intentions underneath as many layers of plausible deniability as possible, except for archive fashion. Ramones only make people wonder when they started making Converse for clown feet. No one cares how much you paid for your M69 flak jacket. Look guys, I also got the liner! No matter how much black you wear, undercover won't cover up your insecurities. Which is why your outfit shouldn't tell people you're desperate for attention, but it also shouldn't tell people you want any attention either. Your fit is supposed to tell a story. A story society is entitled to assume when they share the sidewalk with you. Your shoes may scream I'm a mass shooter, but wear them to HR next time you ask for a raise to get that persuasion bonus. What I'm talking about here are end game fits. They say your style changes in proportion to the amount of frugal aesthetic videos you watch until you realize hoodies are just the top half of onesies and you goodwill all your streetwear to future hype beasts because you realize you were in your slop era. I'm not buying clothes for a very long time. I've already min-maxed my wardrobe to reap as much status as possible while still looking like nothing I'd own isn't made in China. It grieves me to see people live in life only knowing their polyester shirts. If anything can go wrong, it's gotta be in America, where no one has any standards. It's trivial, obviously, but I appreciate fashion because I, for one, have eyes. It's a shame it's gone to this point, but fashion isn't a medium that gets the eyes it deserves, so any innovation is instantly praised. You want to see innovation? Load up 10 friends dressed like this on the back of a pickup truck and drive around. That's the type of fashion show I want to see. In fact, wear your baller tactical jumpsuit everywhere. Like sure, the American redneck attire consists of workwear, mill syrup, and Walmart wear, but I think it gives you character. Like you can truly see the person beyond the clothes. Posers think money buys you power and place in the subculture. They could not be more wrong. All you have to do is dress like a dad. No one will know what to think. They never have. People make life-altering choices spontaneously without thinking hard before making them. They have their upsides and downsides, some only downsides, but you know what choice only has upsides? Subscribe to my YouTube channel where I have the most consistent upload schedule on the entire website.